Welcome to my page, my name is Anya. Today, I'm gonna to be reviewing makeup by a brand called Kimuse. I found them on Amazon. They were super affordable, so I figured that this is totally worth trying and reviewing. Also, I've been lately getting into Korean skincare and Korean makeup. So with that being said, let's jump into this review. First thing I like to do is put on this little cute headband that I've had for probably like about half a year now. Whenever I put it in my hair and then take it off later, like I don't have any dents in my hair, so that's why I like using this versus a clip. And it makes you feel like a little cute Cute bunny. I already have a base foundation on underneath and I also put on some eyelashes as well. I have a few items here so it's going to be a liquid contour, a liquid blush, and two different highlighters. I got two different highlighters because I couldn't choose which one I like better so I just got both to test them out. I already moisturized my face in advance. I added primer and I put a base foundation on already. I already opened these up but I didn't try them yet. One thing I have to say is that I love the packaging. Look how adorable this looks. Their face makeup products are all packaged like similarly like this and I think it's super adorable. I definitely love the aesthetic. This is the liquid contour. It's supposed to be dewy and it's in the color Warm Honey. I'm more of a warm skin tone. I'm not as a medium shade as I usually am in the summer because we haven't been having much sun around here. It's been raining like almost all summer long. This is a bit more lighter. So I like a more subtle natural contour. I don't like it to look too dramatic. It's very soft. It's like not harsh at all. I'm just gonna apply a couple drops here and on this side. I also like to add right up top Maybe some right here, and then maybe, maybe a little bit like right there. Ooh, oh my goodness, this is like, I think I applied too much. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, all right, I actually wasn't expecting it to be like that pigmented, but it is very pigmented, wow. So it's going on like very smoothly, blending out pretty well. It's not like sticky, do you know what I'm saying? Like when sometimes you buy a contour and it's like very sticky and like hard to blend out. This is definitely like more softer. I'm just gonna blend this out and speed up the video. Okay, so, so far, not gonna lie, I actually wasn't expecting it to be that pigmented, but it went on very smoothly. I like a more natural and subtle look. I feel like I was using this more of like a bronzer though, because it does have a more warm tone to it. So that's why now I look a little bit more like glowy looking, a little bit more warm, but I'm very happy with the product and I really like it and I'm surprised at how pigmented it was. I didn't have to like use a lot of this product to kind of get the effect that I wanted. So next I have a liquid blush. The name of this shade is Hope. It's in the color Mauve. It looks like that. I feel like this little sponge picks up a lot of products. So you have to be careful when you're putting on your face and not like put a bunch, maybe start off slow. So I'm gonna just lightly tap it on my skin and slowly apply it. Okay, so like right on the apple. I'm gonna apply just a little bit for now. I like to put some on right at the bridge of my nose. And then right here. I'm gonna use my beauty blender for this. So I'm gonna blend this out. Very, very pigmented. Sometimes I'll just like stop right here, but other times I'll actually bring it like that because that looks like you have like a little like sun-kissed look. Okay, so, so far I feel like I look like I was out in the sun for a little bit and the sun made me just like a little bit pink like right around like my cheek areas which I think is such a cute summer look. I do like the shade. I personally don't like to go for super bright blushes. This is like a perfect mauve color where it kind of like is a bit more of a dustier color and I like to do that with a bronzer because I think it complements each other very well without one sticking out 
more than the other it just like blends in because you can see the bronzer underneath but then also on top you see just a little hint of like some pink this is very pigmented but at the same time it's not like super sticky where you're kind of just like blending it out and it's like very harsh it's very light and also you can add layers of this and as you add more layers it gets darker so far i can see with the makeup is that it's giving me more of like a natural look versus something very harsh and i noticed like the older i'm getting i actually like a more like natural look finish i'm gonna add just a little bit more to the bridge of my nose blend that out a little bit i put it wherever like i would get typically pink like if i was in the sun like wherever the sun would hit me more would probably be like right top of my forehead my cheeks and the bridge of my nose do you ever get like red spots like out of nowhere <laughs> but why did you have to like be right in front of my neck like you couldn't be like on the side somewhere like why are you like right there like making it so obvious where did you come from all right so i love the look so far i feel like i definitely have like a glow going on and it looks more natural, like nothing too harsh. So next I have two highlighters in different shades and I couldn't decide which one I like better online. So we'll see what the shade is and go with that. I think I might go with more of like a pink tone. This one is called Champagne. The next one is Moonlight, which I thought is a very like cute fairy-like color. So Moonlight is gonna be right here. It has like a pink undertone, even though it's applied as white, it has like a pink like um, pearlescent look. Next we have the champagne. So far, I can tell that these highlighters are very sheer. So this is the moonlight and this is the champagne. I think I'm gonna use a champagne shade because it's gonna go with the look I'm going for today. Got some highlighter right up here and right there. I'm gonna use my fingers for this. Do that. I've been like getting really into more so like cream based makeup because my face has been like feeling very dry lately. So I'm going to add some right here and right at the top of my lip. But like it looks so natural like you can't even tell that I'm like even wearing highlighter but like you can still see like a glow. I actually like this a lot. So I'm going to add some translucent powder to finish off the look. Definitely on the forehead. My forehead gets so oily. Some lip liner and top it with lip gloss. Okay, so this is the final look. I feel like I look super natural, like as if I have like been in the sun, out on the beach, got a little tan, a little sun kissed with a little bit of like highlight going on that is like very subtle. The products went on very smoothly, very easily. Let me know in the comments below if you have tried Kimmy's products or any other type of videos that you would like for me to make. Until next time, love you guys. Bye-bye.